Two at six, H&N investigates Hawaii's wildfire risk. A new report that's in the process of being finalized pinpoints communities with the highest danger. Allison Blair has more on specific problems and what lawmakers plan to do with the information. Areas with the highest wildfire risks extend far beyond just leeward communities. So according to data from the Hawaii Wildfire Management Organization, that's true for every island in the state. Maps created by the Hawaii Wildfire Management Organization provide communities across the state with fire risk ratings. Areas colored in red are at the highest risk. Green is the lowest. Of all the islands, Oahu appears to have the most fire risk. Besides the windward side of the island, the map shows most communities along the coast and parts of central Oahu at high risk. On Kauai, many coastal communities island-wide are listed as having a high fire danger. Meanwhile, high fire risk areas on Hawaii Island are mainly on the west side and southern tip of the island. Over on Maui and Molokai, maps pinpoint several high-risk areas along southwest and north shores. Lanai is listed as having the least risk, but according to the map, there's still danger. I think that everybody, especially after what happened on Maui, is is very interested in, in how do we make sure that it doesn't happen again. Representative Linda Ichiyama is co-chair of the state's wildfire prevention working group. It's one of six working groups formed by the House Speaker in response to the Maui wildfires. Ichiyama's group is tasked with writing a report identifying causes of wildfires as well as preventative actions that can be taken to reduce the risk statewide. Okay, long story short, this town is on fire. We have multiple people who have died. She says after seeing the body camera video captured by Maui officers August 8th, one thing was clear. Really what it shows us though is how unprepared we were. That's why our report really is a call to action to make sure that we're preventing them rather than just responding to them. These maps illustrate where wildfire incidents occurred on each island going back two decades. The larger the red dot, the more acres that burned. According to the Wildfire Prevention Working Group's draft report, between 2006 and 2016, there were nearly 1,000 wildfires statewide. On average, 20,000 acres burned each year, and 99% of the state's wildfires are human-caused. Despite the growing risk given climate change, the report says most of Hawaii's communities do not have well-developed and comprehensive emergency preparedness and disaster response plans. Meanwhile, creating evacuation routes can be tricky. That's because two-thirds of Hawaii's communities only have one way in and one way out. The report also says some fire companies don't meet national staffing standards. H&N Investigates is still trying to clarify exactly which ones. Hawaii is also the only state in the nation without a state fire marshal. Unfortunately, so much of our focus has been on suppression, responding to the fire after it started. I think we would get more benefit by investing in prevention. And that's where you come in. The working group wants recommendations from the community in regards to prevention measures. That information will be used to take action next legislative session. If you'd like to submit written testimony, we've made it easy. Head to our website, hawaiinewsnow.com, and click on this story. We've also posted a link there to the working group's draft report. Allison Blair, Hawaii News Now.